All right. Hey, everyone. I'm here with Eric Lowry. Hey, Eric. How are you doing? Good. How are you today? I'm awesome. So I wanted to, yeah, thanks for being on. Um, I wanted you to share, I was hoping you would share your reasoning for why you came over to EXP. Now, just for some backstory for people, you um, have a pretty good sized team here locally in Cincinnati. You also do Dayton. Um, and you've been in real estate for over 20 years. That's a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> You're only 30 years old, Eric. I, I wish. In my mind, in my mind, I Exactly. A week away from it being 23 years. Hard for me to imagine. Well, happy anniversary. Thanks. So your team right now, tell us what the makeup is. Sure. So it's uh, I'm the team leader, obviously, of the team and um, run the sales side of our business, essentially. My wife, Lisa, who's the licensed agent, also my partner in this crazy thing we call a real estate team. Um, is um, the director of operations. So she runs all the administrative side. And again, she's a licensed agent, but she, she doesn't sell. She's, she's running the business, if you will. And then we have um, 10 other people, um, other licensed on our team members. Um, we have a, a sales team in Dayton and one in Cincinnati that works mm -hmm. in the Cincinnati market. Those two markets have grown kind of close together. So it's yeah. almost not... Um, it's almost a little weird to delineate, but there's still a little separation there. Um, and then we have two virtual assistants on our team that help us with, um, you know, various tasks, administrative and, and sales wise. Nice. And we have um, five, um, actually it might be six now that I think about it. It's either five or six um, people getting ready to join us. So we're going to um, go through a pretty serious growth spurt here pretty quickly. That'd be great. Yeah, that's exciting. I'd like to hear, I mean, I do want to hear why you joined EXP, but tell me too about, has it been, what has been the change in being able to recruit people to your actual team, to the Lowry team, when at EXP versus the other brokerages? I mean, is there a difference or is it basically the same? Oh my gosh. No, it's... Um, it's huge different, hugely different. Um, I don't know that um, when we moved over to EXP, I don't know that I understood how different it would be. I don't mm -hmm. know that I appreciated some of the things, but the, the most simple thing is, is um, we'll have people reaching out to us about interest in our team and they'll say, I was researching EXP and then I knew I wanted to be, I wanted a, a I'll be on a team at EXP. I, I, have an, nice. um, I have a phone interview tomorrow morning with the young lady where that just happened. I, I, I don't know her from Adam. We don't even have any mutual connections. And she said, um, I was researching and I, I want to be on a team at EXP. Nice. Okay. So I, that never happened before we got to EXP. And Why do you think that is? Um, because the, the business is EXP. There, I think when we joined... Um, 17 months ago or whatever it was, there were about 24,000 agents across the country. Right. Um, and today, I, I think I heard um, yesterday that there are over 53,000 now. So yeah. the company's growing like crazy and new people in particular. And, and um, I don't think it's age part. It's more about new to the business and people are very tech savvy these days and they're excited about this business model. Mm -hmm. So they hear about the company. And then they go, I want to be part of that. And if they the have that feeling of wanting a team, then they just go looking for who are the who are the people at EXP that have teams. And we're pretty high profile. We do a lot of marketing right. on our team, so they find us. But I never saw that part of it coming. That's been awesome because yeah. just you know we want to attract really good, exciting people to our team, and so that's been cool. And then the other part that's really helped within recruiting is you know, the opportunity for our agents to own stock ownership. Right. All of our agents are receiving stock and purchasing stock at a discount to build their wealth. And so right. that's, it's an extra dose of benefit of being an EXP. And that certainly helps with recruiting and retention, by the yes. way. Yes. And as well as a revenue share program. So those are all things that are exciting to real estate agents or people coming into the business. And so it just, it really has helped us supercharge our recruiting. Yeah. Well, I did think too, like, cause um, as you know, we're a team also, I was thinking too, like on the, the retention piece of it is huge because before it was like, especially if you brought somebody in that, that wanted to be on a team because they wanted to learn well. And then when they learned, it was like, now what, do you know what I mean? And it's, but 
even if they get off your team, which they're for some, they're not as likely this time because they're actually making, because of the compensation plan, the splits can be better than they were at other brokerages. Right. But then it's like, even if they end up deciding that they want to maybe create their own team, it's still actually not bad. Like it's still beneficial to you to put all that time in that you spend training them and even to help them grow their team. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's made, um, attraction or recruiting or whatever you want to call it for our sales team. It's made, um, easier, smoother. Yeah. Well, how long were you, what were some of the reasons that like you came out, you brought the team over to EXP? What were, what were some of the things that you were worried about that is the reason why you weren't coming, but now you're here? Like, talk to us about that. I, I don't know that I had any reasons or things that I worried about. Okay. So I was introduced um, to the EXP business model in June of 2018 by a good friend of mine, Kevin Kaufman. Who's a- hey, Kevin. I know Kevin. Yep. He's great. He is. And um, he said, man, you got to look at this. And I said, yep. and I appreciate that. I know you guys are going. I, this was before they even moved their business. And I, yeah. And I said, I'm good, though. I, I, I'm super focused. Mm-hmm. I'm building my business, growing my team. That's all. I I got my head down, Kevin. Like, I appreciate right. it. I love you, brother, but like, leave me alone, kind of. Right, right, there. right. And, and he respected that. We just stayed in touch. And, you know, he we talk all the time about business anyway. And so he just go, how you doing? And, and finally, um, in a collision of ceilings I was bumping up against at our old brokerage in terms of growth. Just, I, I got to the point where I had enough. And I reached out to him. I said, we need to have this conversation. I'm willing to listen now. Yeah. And the moment I actually listened to him explain how, how EXP operated and what it looked like to be inside of that, I was like, it was an instant decision for me. I made the decision literally on the spot. Then you were pissed. Like, why didn't I just, <laughs> no, <laughs> why didn't I listen way, earlier? I think he hasn't thrown that at me once or twice <laughs> too, in a good natured way, right? But of like, course. I, you know, why didn't I do this 18 months ago? Yeah. But, you know, there's a, you know, there's an age old saying, I heard a guy, a very wise guy say a number of years ago, when's the best time to plant a tree? It was yeah. 20 years ago. Right. The next best time. Now. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, we just went for it. I had no worries. I, 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 a lot of agents believe that moving brokerages can be, you know, tough on your business. It's going to make you, you know, push you backwards three steps or whatever. I never worried about that because I knew we could use it to supercharge our yeah. by the reach out we do and look what we did. And all right. Stuff. Last year, we we made a move in January 2020, right before COVID hit. Yeah. Um, and most people go, wow, that was a great time to move. But it actually it actually was. was. Yeah. Was perfect. We had the biggest year we've ever had last year. Nice. And, you know, I, some of it, you go, well, yeah, the market was great. Yeah, but now nah, there's more to it than that. Right. We had a lot of growth. And so. You know, I don't think I had any fears around it. Um, what I know that I made the move for, though, was different than what most people would think. Okay. Most people would go, oh, it's because of the stock. or it was Yeah, the, the revenue stock, share. Or, oh, it's because of the cap. or And those things are all awesome. Yeah. And that's not why I moved. Why'd you I move? I moved because of the people I was going to get to be in business with. Mm-hmm. I am super obsessed with. Um, that concept, Jim Rohn said it years ago, you are the average of five people you surround yourself with. Right, exactly. I was, I was top grading in a heavy duty way. Yeah. Well, I was going to be in business with. Yeah. The financial alignment of those relationships mm-hmm. was good as well. So that, um, that like, I'm not even the same person I was when we moved. Yeah, so, that's what, and that's something that's like, unless you've experienced it, it, it can be a little difficult to explain, but that's like exactly what, I'm going through now too. It's like the connections that I have with people that are here at EXP, those people think bigger than I do. And I know from the past, like in order to do more, I had to think bigger. And I was surrounded by people who did think bigger, but now I'm one of those big thinkers. So I need somebody that's even more of a big thinker. Do you know what I mean? No, for sure. Absolutely. Um, And so you know, when people say, oh, why'd you do it? And they expect my answer to be one of those things, which are all perfectly fine answers. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. a lot of people do come from stock opportunity. And, and I own a whole bunch of EXP stock. I'm pretty jacked about that. Yeah. But, <laughs> I so. but I didn't come for that. I came because 
Um, I was going to be in business in a group, a uh, mastermind, if you will. Yeah. Some of the biggest thinkers in real estate. And yeah. You're around people like that, you can't help but grow. You and can't, you, right. And you can't help but grow a business when you mm-hmm. grow. And it's been, um, I, I wouldn't trade any of that today. That's awesome. Well, so that's- glad. Glad you're here and welcome. If um, people are interested in learning more about maybe joining your team or they have some questions about EXP and joining, what is the best way to get a hold of you? Um, the easiest way, frankly, is um, is Facebook, right? Okay. Can, uh, I'm super easy to find. My profile's wide open. It's not hidden. Like you, you know, <laughs> go there and you want to know what I had for dinner last night or whatever. It's right there for you to see. Um, and so Facebook Messenger is super easy. Like I, I get a ton of messaging in that way. Um, okay. always, emails fine too. My email is super simple. It's just my first name, Eric at LowryTeam.com, which is L-O-W-R-Y-T-E-A-L.com. Um, those are the two easiest ways. Easiest ways. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for being on, Eric. Have a great day. Thanks for having me.